Hello, we are getting into week six this week, so I wanted to talk a little bit about what we're doing. Um, so we're going to scroll down to week six and we're going to open up the labor number two project handout and we will scroll down to week six and take a look at what we're doing. So just a reminder, um, we are working on our, our big project for labor number two is writing a review, a persuasive piece suggesting a peer read a text either from within the canon or from outside it. And so here are the guidelines for thinking about the assignment. <clears throat> We're working through this process. Um, and this week we are getting into the drafting part. And so that's where we're at. We're going to scroll down to week six then. Uh, okay, so week six. Sorry, I don't know what is happening with my computer right now. There we go. <laughs> Apologies for that. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do this week is I want you to do some exploration, do a little bit of research, and find some models. I've recommended some places to start for looking at models of book reviews, um, but I want you to kind of do some digging, do some research on your own. I would start by Googling it or checking out some of these sites um, to see what you see. And then I want you to spend some time studying the models, reading them, looking at them, comparing them to each other, seeing what features are similar, what features are different. And your discussion post this week will be about your reflection on the samples that you find. So this week is super important. Um, this, your discussion is due on Tuesday rather than Thursday um, because I wanted to give you a little bit more time to work on your draft. So we've got our week six discussion here. You'll see after um, you take the time to read a few reviews, consider and respond to the following questions. So this will build off of the analysis that you're kind of doing when you're studying the models. Um, the next thing we're working on is our draft. So I've said here, this should probably not be the first draft. So try writing down your initial ideas and then revise before submitting your draft. I'm encouraging you to do kind of what is often called it like the dirty rough draft first and then give it a, a little bit of time and then go back to it and revise and make some changes to to polish it up and it, make it more appropriate for the public eyes. <laughs> um, and for those of you, I want to give a little tip for writing drafts to get started because a lot of times people say, well, I just don't know how to start. Like I sit there and I'm looking at the computer and the cursor's just blinking at me on the blank page and it's just too much. So what I would encourage you to do is open up a recording app either on your phone or on your computer, record a video of yourself, and just talk about what you want to write. Um, and then you can go back and listen to your recording and kind of transcribe yourself. Um, if you're very curious, you can use a transcription tool called Otter, O-T-T-E-R dot A-I. It's a website where you can record yourself and it types things for you, which may be helpful. Um, and that's a really great way to get started with getting your ideas down initially. And then you can go back and work on things like organization and clarity, but you get your ideas down and that blank page with the blinking cursor isn't quite so intimidating. So give that a try, see if it works for you. It may not work for you, it doesn't work for everybody, but it's something that does work for some people. So your draft is gonna be due on week six, Thursday, um, and I anticipate you'll spend at least two hours working on this draft. Um, and the next step it will be the feedback, which will be due actually on um, Tuesday of week seven. So I will talk a little bit about it here, um, but in week seven, uh, or you'll actually see here, I've encouraged you to read this article before you start the peer review process. Um, and you can postpone if you don't start do, bleh, doing your peer reviews right away. Um, I recommend you read this in week six or week seven, but I want you to read it before you start the peer review process because it talks about how to be an effective peer feedback, how to give effective peer feedback. Peer, peer, <laughs> my tongue is tripping over itself, peer feedback. So um, we've got the peer feedback process here. And really, I've just given you some guidelines for thinking about giving feedback in a mindful way. Um, remember that when you're looking at someone's writing, writing is really personal. And it's difficult to share sometimes because you don't know how people are going to respond. You might be frightened of what people will say. Um, and so I, I've 
given you some tips here on how to work with your feedback in a way that's mindful of others and also able helps them to improve their writing. Um, so we'll see when you start the peer review process, the kinds of feedback that I want you to give to your peers will happen largely in the form of questions. So I've asked you to provide questions about claims, so kind of what is their argument, questions about evidence, so what do you see that maybe the author isn't providing additional details about, and questions about organization. So we're thinking about looking at the paper holistically, but also looking at the paragraphs individually. Um, and then I also wanted to encourage you to think about, um, where was that one? It's a really good, oh, here we are. Um, knowing the limitations of this type of work. So I recommend that you spend at least one hour for each of your peers' essays to review it. Um, and there's a lot that you can do in that time. So I've given this helpful tip to help you organize your ideas and thoughts. Um, you signal such if you only had time to work on one thing or the three things that gave me the most trouble as a reader were this. Um, basically, I want you to think about prioritizing. You can't and you shouldn't try to address every single issue. That's not what we're here for. We're here to try to give some um, critical but respectful feedback to people to help them improve their writing a little bit. Um, so please take the time to review this before starting the peer review process. And I will be recording a quick video recording a quick video about the peer review process to view in week seven. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to hop on to one of the three student Zoom hours this week or shoot me an email.